Assalamu alaikum, this is Fahim. In today's video, I am going to create a very short project using Python. But if you can understand how I am doing it, then you would enjoy a lot, and I am sure of that. All right, so let's head over to our project, shall we? Now, first of all, let me tell you what I'm gonna build today. I'm gonna build a simple project which will convert all of the images from a directory to a single PDF file. And for this, I'm gonna use a library named image to PDF. All right. So you can simply follow along my this tutorial. And don't worry, as I will try my best to make sure that you understand all of the lines step by step and why I am using them. All right. Now, first of all, I have created a directory or you can say I have created a folder in my desktop named image to PDF, but you can obviously use any other directory or any other name, but you have to make sure that you don't have any spaces in that folder name. Please try to make sure of that. Now, obviously you can truncate the space included location using quotation, but I'm not gonna worry about that for now. So my simple instruction for you would be don't keep any spaces in the directory name all right now you see that i already have collected three and two total five jpg images from website now for this project i have used the unsplash.com website and you see that i have simply downloaded these random images you can download any images you want but in this project i am going to show you how you can convert the jpg file format images so for the sake of this video i would also suggest you to use jpg formatted image files all right so that's it and now obviously you can use let's say pycharm or any other text editor but for the simplicity i will be using vs code all right now i have created a directory and i have stored all of the images which images i want to convert into a single pdf all right now i can simply open my visual studio code from here or if you want you can simply uh, do it like this file open folder and select that folder all right now for the sake of my project i would like to install all of the python extensions so that i don't need to worry about that later on so i can simply install it all right now let's come to the fun part now you see that i have created a python file named script.py where i will provide the code or you can say i am simply going to create a python script for my project however you want to call it i am completely fine with that all right now as i have already told you that i am going to use a famous python library named image to pdf i need to install it using pip if you are using conda you can obviously install that using conda after creating the environment you can simply use like conda install image to pdf like that but for the simplicity or you can say for the sake of the simplicity for this video i'm going to use this simple command and that is pip install image to pdf don't worry i'm going to provide the url from where you can check out the official library you can also search here for image to pdf not PDF to image, image to PDF, that's it. Now for installing it, you can simply copy it to your clipboard, but you can simply fire up a terminal here and apply the command like pip then install image to PDF. Let me check the file name, I mean package name, image to PDF, image to PDF. I think it's all right now simply hit on the enter key and give it some time because it will collect the package and install it for you as simple as that all right it has successfully installed the package now you can see that i am currently using a pip and my pip version is 23.1.2 but the latest version is 23.2 if you want you can upgrade your pip if you don't want to upgrade that's completely fine but let's say you want to upgrade that so i'm simply upgrading myself as well you can simply copy it and paste it here to upgrade the pip 
that's it it will upgrade your pip to the latest version now i have the latest version of pip and i have also installed the image to pdf now it's time to write down my code all right so first of all i need to import the os as i need to uh, use operating system directory or something like that so import os and then i have to import my library that is image to pdf library that specific library i'm going to use to convert all of my jpg images to a single pdf file all right so import image to pdf that's it i have successfully imported os and the image to pdf libraries and now i am going to convert all of these images to a single pdf file so for that reason i'm gonna use with open and then i have to provide the pdf file name let's say i'm gonna name it something like image containing pdf dot and the extension and that is pdf definitely or if you want you can also change the name let's say image containing book dot pdf that means when i'm gonna run this script if everything is okay it will convert all of them images to a single pdf named image containing book dot pdf all right and i'm gonna write uh, in that pdf so wb and i have used a wb because it indicates to open the file in binary format all right as i am going to convert all of the image file in a pdf file so definitely i need to work on the binary as well so i'm using the format wb all right so i'm gonna open that as a file obviously so that's it and now i'm gonna use this file and i'm gonna specify that i want to write something so file dot write and here i need to specify which thing i need to write so i need to use the image to pdf package and dot and then i'm gonna use the convert functionality of image to pdf and then let's say i'm gonna use i for i in os dot list directory and i need to provide the directory or you can say file path or the file address where i have uh, i have gathered all of the image file because it will search for that location for the images and it would convert all of the images to a single pdf file named image containing book.pdf and it would save that pdf file in that specific directory all right and here i need to provide the directory name image to pdf and i have to specify if the file name ends with so i dot ends with and the extension name let's say dot jpg like this so yeah that's it i'm telling it that i'm gonna provide a directory here and in that directory it will search for those specific files which have dot jpg as the extension and it would convert only those extension i mean extension containing files to this pdf let's say i have uh, other file formats here like let's say readme.md something like that and i am having some uh la 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 text here or let's say i have some like text file dot txt this is a text file so you see that in this directory i have dot md file i have dot py file i have dot txt file i have dot jpeg file and you can have many more different kinds of files here but i want dot jpg file specifically to convert all of those jpg containing picture files to a single pdf file so i have specified that that in that directory you would search for all of the files and exactly those files which ends with dot jpg extension you will simply work with those all right now i have to specify the uh, directory here so i can simply grab that directory real quick copy and paste and let me simply run this code right now so run code 
I am having some error. All right, image to PDF if I dot and six syntax error. Unicode space code country decode bytes in position to see truncated. All right, most probably I need to use another slash here because I have to specify that this entire thing is the part of that directory. I'm not using any escape sequences here, right? So let's see whether it works or, or not. And you see, I'm having more errors jpg mm, exceeds limit of pixels could be decompression bombed does add up so i think that my image size is too long or something like that trace back error. all right i already have the uh, pdf file here let me simply open that pdf file real quick all right it can't open that file so i guess i need to yeah you see that the image files are huge like some of them are more than 1.5 megabyte and some of them are 6.39 megabyte so i need to work with the smaller files so i can simply delete these images file and let me simply grab some smaller version of those images for example let's say small and then download small images download small download small and download small All right, now I need to grab those images real quick. So now I can use these images. These images are very short in size. Obviously, you can see it right here, right? Like, for example, these five image files contain only 322 kilobyte. I think it would work right now. Let me simply run this. Before running it, let me simply delete the old PDF book all right now let me simply run it again now this time there's no error and you see that it has generated this video file image containing book now let me run it and see whether it really works or not wow you see that all of the image file are in this pdf i have one two three four but one image is missing or something like that i have this image i have this image i have this yeah you see this image is right here so i have provided one two three four five dot jpg files and all of them i mean all of the files is in this image containing book dot pdf file as i have described in this code now as you can see i had different files as well like for example i had markdown file i had text file but it didn't worry about that because i have already specified that you to worry about it only if you have dot jpg extension in those directory all right so it simply worked with them and there's no error as well so by this only let me simply delete this empty line so you can see that by using only four lines of code i have created a successful very short python project to convert all of the image files to pdf as simple as that all right now that's it for today if you are interested in this type of programming related content now obviously i would recommend you to subscribe to this channel and if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give it a thumbs up share it with your friends if you want you can follow me in github gitlab LinkedIn, facebook twitter instagram i will provide all of the link in this video's description box and so don't worry about the code because i'm gonna provide my github repository from where you can grab this file along with those image file obviously all right and i will also try my best to uh, write an article regarding this project and i will make sure to attach the link in the description box as well inshallah so that's it for today thank you everyone and i will see you in another video children take care assalamu alaikum